Hiding and showing rows, columns and worksheets is the next thing to have a look at. They're all done in pretty much the same way. When we've got data on the screen, we might want to hide some to help with that comparing that we sort of looked at last time by splitting the windows. But we could do it perhaps by hiding rows. For example, if we want to compare 1974 directly with 1982, we could hide the rows in between. So I'm going to do that by selecting the row selectors and I click and drag down to select all the rows that I want to hide. Make sure you've got the Home tab selected. Come across to the Cells group. Then select Format and drop down to Hide and Unhide. And from there we can get the Hide rows and unhide rows. So we've got hide rows there, unhide rows there. So to hide them and unhide them, it's almost the same, just a different option on the menu. So we'll hide it first. And you can see there the row selectors jump from 3 to 11. So the rows in between have been hidden, which allows us to compare exactly 1974 with 1982. Unhiding is slightly different. What you need to do is select the rows around the outside of the hidden rows. So I've selected 3 and 11 there, so it's all the hidden rows are in between. Other than that, it's exactly the same process. Home tab, cells group, format, drop down to hide and unhide, and then unhide rows. And it, those rows reappears. Now I want to show you columns, it works in exactly the same way. We'll, we'll have a look at sheets though. We've got the sheets here, we can hide those. Again, make sure you've got this, the worksheet selected that you want to work with. And then simply make sure you've got the Home tab selected. Cells, Format, drop down to Hide and Unhide. And this time we're going to choose Hide Sheet. And you can see the worksheet has disappeared. Now to get that back, we don't have to select either side of it. We just repeat the process. Home tab, cells group, format, drop down to hide and unhide, and then unhide sheet. And this time, let's bring that into view, this time it brings up a list of all the hidden sheets. This is why you don't need to select either side of it first. We've got all the unhid hidden sheets here. We select the one we want to hide, unhide, and then click OK. And the sheet reappears. So that was to hide it. We do format, hide and unhide, hide sheet. Let's hide sheet 2 as well. Format, hide and unhide, hide sheet. They've gone. To get them back, format, hide and unhide, unhide sheet. Choose the one that you want to unhide, and then OK. You can do all those skills rather than using the menu. Just bring that one back as well. You can use a right mouse click on the, on the selectors. So, for example, on these rows, when I've got them selected, I can right click on the row selector and choose hide and unhide from there. So there's two ways of doing that, either using the menu or the ribbon system, I should say, or the hide and unhide. Finally, not strictly in the syllabus here, but there is another hide facility that's built into Excel 2007. If I click on the View tab, then you'll see we've got a window grouping, and in there we've got these two icons, which, oops, it's the wrong one, it's that one, Hide Window and unhide window. That's greyed out because we haven't got any hidden windows. So to hide the whole window, that means the whole workbook, we simply click that button and the whole window disappears. To get it back, we use the unhide again. And it brings that one back into focus. Um, that could be quite useful if you're working on two or three workbooks. So you might have a couple of workbooks open and then to hide the one that you're working on, view, window, hide,
that worksheet is has been that workbook has been hidden. The second one that you are working on is now open, and then to get the one back that you are working with, unhide. And okay.